All right, I just want to take just a second to thank everybody. When I say this kind of blows our minds, I, I mean it, you know. We just had 4,000 subscribers the other day, and everybody has been so kind. All over the YouTube community and, and our viewers and everybody who leaves comments, and we're appreciative of so many people. And just I'll just give you an example. So today, just today, I'm going to ship out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, look at that, and ten. I guess the, that's going in a two-pack. Those two want to stay together. Okay, we're going to ship out all those today. So, you know, we would sell, you know, 20 a year, and now we're selling, you know, multiples every single day. And I know it's just a way for so many of you out there to say thank you to us. And uh, we really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin, and we are in the eBay cave this evening. And we have had such a crazy day today. And I just got back downstairs from dinner, and I heard more cha-chings. Actually, I didn't hear them. I got down here and saw some. I left my phone down here. If I don't leave my phone down here, I ignore my wife and I can't do that. So I got to leave it down here. So when I came back down, we had three more sales. So before those sales, we were already at $703.40 being shipped out tonight. And that's from the Commonwealth Picker Store and $49.35 from the Homeschool Hustler Store. Blue Ridge Mama had, I think, three sales not included in all that. Two on Posh, one on Mercari, and I think she videotaped one of those. So I've got all kinds of stuff. So what I think we're going to do is maybe take half the sales and make it a video because I don't want to make a 40-minute video, and then maybe take the other half and add it with the Homeschool Hustler store and add it with her sales and either put it on the other channel, Commonwealth Flipper, as an extra, or maybe there'll be a slow day this week and we'll add it onto one of those. I'm not quite sure, but we'll do one of those two things. We're going to show you what's sold here, at least half of what's sold here in a minute. But before we do, I've, I always write things down over here on the on my desk that I want to mention really quick. And then sometimes I forget it. So I, I wrote it on my little sheet this time. Fitness equipment and New Year's resolution stuff. So if you're a new reseller out there, you got to think ahead to what the next season is. But sometimes you got to think of the next holiday. In this case, we don't have any holidays for a while, except for, I guess, uh, Martin Luther King Jr. is coming up uh, in January 20th, something like that. I can't remember. It ain't, I should know that. I'm a history teacher. So the next thing I think about for selling on eBay is a lot of people eat like crazy in, in starting with you know Halloween and all the candy and then Thanksgiving and then Christmas. And they're like, man, I got to lose 10 pounds. So they go ahead and they start looking for things that they can get in shape with. So those are the kind of things that oftentimes sell pretty well in January when a lot of Christmas type stuff is going to stop selling. And so it's not a bad idea to pick those items up if you see them in thrift stores and if you have them to get them listed now. Now, <laughs> I should follow my own advice and start doing that i have got a purple ab roller over here but i don't think i have that many fitness type items this year but i do have a few so i'm gonna have to get those out thanks again i haven't had a chance to say thanks for the 4,000 yet we're a day or two behind on these videos and that happened a few days back at this point so thank you so much 4,000 subs is completely totally not even a thought in our mind when we started doing these videos you know, I think we started at the very end of May, beginning of June, and it's just been kind of overwhelming. So thank you, and uh, we appreciate it. All right, so let's take a look at a bad retail arbitrage buy, and this one was from Walmart. And I want to say we paid a buck and a quarter a piece. They were clearing them out, which is, you know, I'm like, hey, that's a great deal. We can make some money. I think we listed them for like $14.95 plus shipping, and we sold a few. And then they totally stopped selling. And then we put them out there for $12.95. We sold a few. And then they totally stopped selling. This one, we finally got it down to $9.99. I think $9.99. Plus shipping for two now. This is for two. A blue one and a red one. It's a red set in here. Or blue set in here and a red set in here. And so we're only making like four or five bucks profit on these. I guess it's okay. We had a bunch. We're getting down there. I think there's only four sets left. I even took a couple to the antique booths to put them in there. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to see if we can't get four bucks in the booth. It's about what we're making on them here. And we did sell one. I think there's one left, but not a great one. We'll put them together 
probably put them in a poly bag if it's going to go over. If I remember, these are just under two pounds. And so if you put them in a box, it'll go over. So we might just put them in a poly bag. They're not going to get hurt and ship them out that way. I think I put at the beginning of the video something about the uh, Inaman. And I'm going to wait till the, towards the end of this video. We sold nine of these guys today. Nine of them. I'm assuming it's a guy. I don't know. What is it? What do you think? Yeah, it's an Inaman. Of course it's a guy. And I'm going to mention, I think every single one of them were to a viewer. And some people bought multiples. One person bought two, one person bought three. So we're going to mention them at the end of the video. I have been selling these Death Wish mugs. And they've been selling pretty good. I spent $100 on a lot of them. And I'm before this one, we were at 156 bucks, So I'm up $56 so far. And so this one will be pure profit. And it sold for $125.00 free shipping and it's going to go to texas so it's going to cost me a little bit for shipping on this but that's okay because we're we're working on total profit here so let's just say it's going to cost i don't know 12 bucks max to ship this to texas so we'll take that we're looking at we're looking at about 15 to 17 dollars in fees let's say 17 dollars it's 27 we're looking at about a 98 dollar profit on this thing Combine that with the 56 we've already made, and we're looking at $154 profit. So we've more than doubled our money on that buy. So sometimes you got to pay up for a good item. And this one would, I figured it would sell right at Christmas. It's got the Yeti on it, or the Mean Bumble, as I said in the other video. And it's number 2907 out of 5,000. If you see these Death Wish coffee mugs, they will go anywhere between $40 and $250. I have another one back here that I think we have listed for 225 and have a bunch of watchers. I'm going to drop it down to 200 and it's going to be a consignment deal and we'll get that thing sold hopefully before Christmas. All right, here's a Christmas puzzle and this is brand new in the package. It's a little bit kind of dusty. I need to clean that thing off. It does have one little rip in the package right here, but it is brand new and it was originally 995. So this is, you know, not an amazing puzzle. I got this one on a Friday yard sale. It was a day I had to go to school, but it was a teacher work day. I hope no administrators are listening to this out there. So if you are, close your ears. On days that are teacher work days, they're more like teacher mental health days. If you are a teacher out there, you know what I'm talking about. And so I don't go in at the normal time on a teacher work day. I usually go in a half an hour late and sometimes slip out a half an hour early. And I had a chance, because I went in a half an hour late, to get at a yard sale on a Friday right before they opened up that yard sale. There turned out not to be too much there. We bought a few things that we sold inside of the booth, got a couple things that I used to sell things in the booth, and I bought this for 50 cents, and it sold for $8.95. Not a great deal. I'm going to make like 7 bucks on it, so I'm happy. And it sold at Christmas, so I don't have to store it till next year. Speaking of storing... Uh, hopefully we're putting on one little clip each day of the eBay shed, the Commonwealth cabin, and we'll show it to you slowly over time. Maybe I want to take a little time at Christmas, a day or two, you know, just to be with the family. So I might make a video and, and post something about the shed, or I might make a huge video about the shed and put it on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. And then somewhere down the road, we'll do one for the whole process, including, you know, putting stuff on the inside of it. We need to put flooring down. We need to put drywall up. And we need to do all those things. I'm hopefully going to be getting some shelving units put in. I have one guy that I'd like to, if his costs aren't too much, I'd like to use him to make us some, some neat stuff to put inside of that because he also helps with veterans and things like that. So hopefully we'll get him out here and maybe he can do some measurements and build us uh, an area with some shelving in there. So we'll see. If not, we'll go out and we'll buy the metal racks from Sam's or Costco or wherever you get them from, or maybe even pick some up at some yard sales as we go. I know a lot of you have been asking about a tour of that place. I promise you, you will see a tour of that place sooner rather than later, either on Commonwealth Flipper or on here. But for now, we'll just go kind of one little clip at a time. All right, next item up. All right, so here is Demon Attack, and it's got the pamphlet. It's the uh, Atari 2600 Demon Attack game. Th these are not great. When I first started doing eBay, you were out and about. You had no phone. You had nothing. You just were going by the seat of your pants. And I remember finding Nintendos. I remember finding... I mean, when we would go out yard sailing in, say, 2002, we would find... If we didn't come back, and I say we because I used to do it with a friend of mine, if we didn't come back with 
three to five systems every single week, we were disappointed. And some of the holy grail systems were these Atari systems, and you could get some good money for the games, for the systems, for the controllers, all of it. It was like the best. Now you can hardly get anything for this stuff. You still get money for GameCubes and Nintendo 64s and all those games, but a little harder to get money out of these. This one sold for $6.21 free shipping. Now, I listed it like that. I almost took it to the booth. I've sold a lot of these things in the booth. If these games are only going for $4.99 on eBay, you're not making any money practically. So I took this thing and listed it because it was over six bucks. If it was under six bucks, I would have taken it to the booth like I did a bunch of games. We got this from Tim the Toy Man. And Tim, I love to, I know I mention you all the time, I love to come and talk to you and look at your toy collection so we know what it is you toy collectors are out there looking for. So we're only going to make a couple bucks on this. I'm already in the profit, so whatever it is we made, two fifty, at least it's pure profit. All right, we are slowly but surely selling out the Fontanini. Uh, it's dwindling down day by day, and my hope is to get rid of almost all of it by Christmas, but that won't happen. But we're going to get rid of most of it for sure. So far, we've made close to $400, not quite. Um, on our end of the consignment. This is one kind of laying on its side. Man, that's that's appealing right there. At any rate, this one sold for $11.81 plus shipping. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to open this snow baby. This is a neat one though. Maybe if I can put a picture in here, I'll slide one in real quick. It is Department 56 Snow Babies Jack Frost, A Touch of Winter Magic. 2001 and this is Blue Ridge Grannies and we don't do consignment with Blue Ridge Granny We just sell it because if you don't sell stuff for Blue Ridge Granny when she asks you you don't get Christmas dinner So I might sneak in like a 10% packaging fee or something like that But uh, we're gonna give her the money for this one and it sold for $39.95 plus shipping and obviously we're gonna put a box around it and pat it But there is styrofoam inside of it all right, here's just a cheap hat we picked up for next to nothing in a lot of hats. Probably got a quarter into it, and it's in great shape. It looks to be almost new, but not quite. It's a Ward Burton hat, blaze orange with camo, and it sold for $11.88. So nothing amazing, but it'll ship out for about $3.50. They stay under 8 ounces if you put them in the right box, and so the shipping will be pretty cheap on it cost of goods and with fees and everything you're looking at about a six dollar profit on that all right here is a spock ornament and we're not making a bunch of money on these these are retail arbitrage reminds me of thrifty as me out there you like that and this one sold for ten dollars have two more left bought them on 75 percent off clearance at walmart so we're only making about four maybe four and a quarter on this guy but we got the perfect box to put it in and times three, you know, you make about $13, $14 on it. And we bought different types. So these aren't great money makers, but, you know, they're easy. And I'll take the three, four bucks, whatever, no big deal. It'll pay for my lunch one day. All right, here's another Fontanini. This one is Daphne. And it sold for $9.95. And it'll go on our consignment as well. We'll do a 50-50 split. We each get about $4 for it. All right, here's a great sale. I picked this one up at a yard sale not too long ago. Some of you maybe remember it. It's probably been two and a half months or so. And it's Air Force One. Nike sells, obviously, but this is, was an interesting one. Paid $2 for it. The first court shoe with Nike Air cushioning. Air Force One. And it sold for $24.81 plus shipping. And we did a flat rate padded envelope for that one. And it is a really nice sale. I'm happy about that. So it's like a 20, after fees, it's about a $20 profit on that. Maybe just a tick under, 19 bucks. All right, here's a nice big Fontanini sale. And I had it listed for $55 or best offer. And somebody sent me an offer for 40. And I'm like, you know what? It's getting close to Christmas. I don't want to get greedy. I want to get rid of it because it's a big box. But I wasn't going to do 40 bucks. This was a nice one. And I sold it for $46. So I sent him an offer back and said, all right, I'll do it. 46 bucks. I was hoping to get 50, but you know what? I'll take it. $46. Easy shipper. We'll put it in a slightly bigger box and pad it with some styrofoam on the sides because there's already styrofoam inside. It'll be good to go. All right, so here is the Snoopy Peanuts Zamboni machine. And this one sold for $89.95 plus shipping. We're into these, I think, for like 37 bucks. 
So not amazing profit, but you know what? I'd rather sell multiples of these any day than sell, you know, $5 one-off shirts. So I'm happy with that. It's going to be a pretty nice profit for us and it'll be an easy shipper. We'll put it in one of those giant black construction contractor bags and ship it right off. I think this is the last one, but I have to check. This one I think I have in my attic. They were so big. I put them upstairs in my attic, and I think there's one more, even though it says availability is zero, so I got to go check. I totally forgot to give a shout out to all the people that bought the Fleet Enemyan, so I'm going to do that really quickly here, so let's take a look. This one is Shelly. Shelly, thank you for your purchase here. She says, I've been watching your videos and really, really enjoy them. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shelly. All right, so this one is from Brian. And Brian bought two, which is awesome. So thank you so much, Brian. And he says, great YouTube channel. I've been picking for two months now, and I love it. Your videos and Lonnie's videos have helped out so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brian. We appreciate it. All right, so this one is going out to Jerry, and Jerry says, thank you so much. So, Jerry, thank you so much, and we hope somebody enjoys these this year in their stockings or white elephant gift or whatever it is you're doing out there. All right, and this one's going out to a viewer as well because they got the discount for 10 bucks, which means they sent me a message to ask for it, but they didn't leave a message in the purchase, so um, I apologize if you wanted me to say something, but Judith, thank you, and I know I... I know I sent you a message back. I just can't remember what was in there. So, Judith, thank you so much for your purchase, and I hope you enjoy. All right, and Rob, you win the award for the... Actually, you know what? Somebody bought four of these. I can't remember who bought four, but somebody bought four. Anyway, you're, you're runners up. You're runner up for uh, second most in a man's buy. So there's going to be a lot of uh, people looking at their stock and funny this year, or a lot of people with a white elephant gift, so... There you go. There's your three and a man. There's the three wise men. You can put them right there in your nativity. No, you better not do that. So, Rob, thank you so much for your purchase. Merry Christmas to you. One last thing. Carrie, congratulations for winning that DVD last week. I don't remember if I ever said congratulations on a show or not, but we have that thing going out to you, and we'll ship it out to you. Uh, ASAP. Thank you so much. Uh, there's a lot of you been sending me emails, and I've been trying to get to each one. Uh, messaging me on Instagram. It's kind of hard to keep up, but I'm doing my best and we appreciate you and we can't wait to have you back next time. We'll see you tomorrow.